yourself here with this no, five G. There's no breaks. What are you talking about? We're at, we're supposed to be here doing anything. How dare you cut an ad in the middle of us doing this dang award show, which actually is kind of apropos given the circumstances that we're in right now. Uh, but yeah, what are you playing? Uh, I'm playing aim lab. To be honest, right now I'm loading. I was score was looking fine, brother, until you interrupted me. Bad manners. This guy, we're live here at the esports awards. Millions of people watching around the world. You know, just put your damn phone down, Miles, and get back to work, okay? You're so you, you know what, Miles? I'm gonna say this right now. It's gonna hurt. You're unprofessional right now. Can I get a ooh from the crowd? There it oh, is. Oh, piss off. This thing's great, though. Full battery. Everyone, you know, you play this thing. Really what? Funny. But why are you taking so much time there? What device is that? Well, this is, I, I mean, I, I've already said it out loud, man, but if you have to get me to repeat it, I shall. Uh, Alex, this yes. is the Verizon Razer Edge 5G. This is cutting edge, baby. I'm out here enjoying myself, or at least I was. But you know what? Maybe we should go with this one. Shall we? This guy. This guy. This is why we can't have new hosts every year. It's unbelievable. I'm at a loss for words. You know what, though? Uh, uh, you know what, We're, let's just move on, because presenting the awards, we have, uh, Effie is actually going to be styling out this year. She's going to be presenting Mobile Game of the Year, and of course, we're going to be celebrating, uh, you know, mobile okay. gaming in all of its entirety. And unfortunately, very typical mobile gaming, this guy's going to cut an ad right here. Unbelievable. But you know what, Miles, um, did you, did you like get me one? Brother, no, there was only two, and I think Shock's got the other. Oh, that hurts. Damn, son. You know, you think, you think your friend over here, can I get a, aww. Oh. Yeah, See. Miles, that's private information that's under NDA, so please hush and, and keep playing. Uh, we're gonna swiftly move on <laughs> to eSports okay. Mobile Game of the Year. Your hosts for the award are. The presenters for the eSports Mobile Game of the Year award are Mason Bates and Rachel Seltzer. Surfers. Esports Mobile Game of the Year presented by Verizon. Balloons start effects. It's only games I play in the phone. Balloons Monkey Bungie City. Bungie Mobile. Okay, that might that might count. League of Legends Wild Rift. There's a League of Legends game on the phone. That's cool. Free Fire. I didn't even know Free Fire. Was Pokemon Unite. Not Pokemon Go. People still play those? Arena of Valor. Is that like a Valorant type thing? It looks like it. Mobile Legend. Bang Bang. Sounds good. Call of Duty Mobile. People still play that? Stars. Clash of Clans. Oh shit. It's back to us. Oh my god. Um, we've been discussing all the mobile all games we play. A lot of great games up there. A lot of great ones. Angry Birds. But Mason. Sorry. Mason. <laughs> we cannot give this award out to just anyone. We have an answer in the envelope here. Esports Mobile Game of the Year, presented by Verizon. That's your fan, right? Uh, That's you, Mason. And the winner is PUBG Mobile. Oh, wow. Huh. Unfortunately, the PUBG Mobile team could not be here with us this evening. This is their third nomination for the Esports Mobile Game of the Year category and their first Esports Award win overall. I have to read down the PUBG yeah, Mobile sure. team. Hi everyone, James Zach here. Thank you so much for naming PUBG Mobile Esports as the Esports Mobile Game of the Year. It's an honor to receive this award. I wonder what your chicken dinner. Since 2018, we set our ambitious plan to make PUBG Mobile Esports one of the biggest and most accessible esports ecosystem in the world. 
and now to the end of season 22, we can happily say we have achieved so much toward the goal. This year, our Pro League grew to 13 regions across 5 continents, and we obtained mm. recognition from prestigious supporting bodies such as the Southeast Asia Games and Asia Games, as well as break a record of 630,000 players signing up for the PUBG Mobile Club. 600,000 people play on the phone? I hope you can all join and watch the 2022 PFC Grand Finals starting 6th January. Yeah. The announcement is waiting. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations to PUBG Mobile. Mobile devices are really getting better, aren't they, mate? Yes. I lied. I said I wasn't going to talk to him, and now he's feeling the pressure. Uh, but yes, I put down my Verizon uh, Razor Edge 5 just long enough to get proceedings back on the road. What a fun night so far, guys. Is everybody having a good time? Uh, good, because you're here Yay. for a while. Uh, <laughs> back now to the lovely Shocks and her assistant, Alex. We totally didn't get here right on time. Yeah, and also, come on, man. You know, words for you. You didn't give me a phone. Now you're, okay, you're going off of the copy. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. In any uh, case, we're uh, <laughs> going over to a brand new award for 2022 because as content has evolved, so have people who have been making it uh, evolved. What was once a DS DSLR and a capture card in the bedroom has evolved into a multi-million dollar studios and collectives coming together to create content under one name. Yeah, that is why Content Group of the Year is our next award that we're going to be presenting. 100 Thieves Optic. Presenting the me. Content Group of the Year Award is Let Misha guess, Brooks. Phase. Let me guess. Just, do, just a big, big, giant guess. Phase is going to be on there. Without a doubt. Thank you. I'm expecting a bigger turnout. Um, I guess I'm here because a documentary about me and my team is nominated. Uh. All right, I'm not sure no, what the team is. Just to clarify, I'm not nominated, but a documentary about me and my team is nominated for one of the awards tonight. It's called Players. It's on Paramount Plus. Uh, yeah, if you Players. haven't seen it, huh. um, you're not missing out it's pretty it's pretty bad i mean it's not it's not bad if you like poorly edited hit jobs or like have really really nothing else to do but uh everything about me <laughs> like, like my on. style or my sense of humor or my uh home entertainment system none of them made it into the show uh but whatever. Uh, content group of the year. Honestly, I only play League, so I don't know a lot of these, a lot of these people. Hundred Thieves, obviously. I know they uh, they just announced they're signing Bjergsen and Double Lift. Nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's exciting news. If you want to win the 2019 LCS championship. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, Offline TV, I really hope the after party is not at your place because they throw truly the worst parties. They make you sit in a circle and play Mafia <coughs> for like two hours. And Scar <laughs> is going to tell you that I'm not invited to the parties, but even if I were, I wouldn't go. And I am. So we'll see if he wins. Um, this drink tastes like straight sunscreen. Anyway. I guess this is, yeah, roll the, the nominees for best content group of the year. Content group of the year. My vote goes toward 100 Thieves so far. I'm just going to say 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves. And they're the first ones, once you know. If FaZe is on the same one. FaZe Clan. Oh, hell no. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, wow. I don't know what loud is. They seem cool. Oh, any of us. One true king. Uh, I mean, they they good sometimes. G4 TV. Really? 
Goodbye. Rebo Gale. I don't even know what the, the um, other one was. All the other ones. All of these. But they cool though. Why I heard him before? Oh, because offline okay. TV. Uh, okay, you want you kind of one off. Team summertime. All right, they said offline TV twice. Okay, they play Apex, so for sure second vote. Soul Esports. That's cool. It's, it's gonna go oh. to face clan. Um, Let's be real. And the content, the esports award for the content group of the year goes to Soul Esports. Oh shoot, nice. Unfortunately, Soul Esports was not able to attend this evening. They are the first uh, ever winner of this award in esports award history. This is their first time being nominated and first time winning award. Here is a message from the team. Nice. Hey guys, this is Mortal from SATUL and first of all it came in as a surprise that we were nominated for eSports Content Group of the Year and it is hard to believe that we've actually won it. But now that we are here, thank you so much everyone for your support. Wish we were there but uh, unfortunately we couldn't make it. Anyways, thank you so much everyone for your constant support. Our only goal is to keep moving forward. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm really short on words right now. Thank you each one of you. You know, you are the reason we are here. Thank you each one of you throughout the country, throughout the globe, who's shown this massive support to us. From being nowhere to here, it's a dream. It's magical. I still can't process this feeling, but I really want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to each member of SATUL, each creator who's helped us pursue our journey till here. I'm really grateful to Esports Award for recognizing us and nominating us for the content team of the year. Uh, it feels great and I'm really humbled for this award. It really means the world to us. We are doing great. We'll yeah, FaZe is already a freaking... Thank you. Billion this dollar, award is a global dollar. recognition <laughs> for SATUL. Going into 2023, SATUL aims to not only be a content creation team from India, but a content creation team from all around the globe. Once again, I would like to thank Esports Award for honoring us with this prestigious content team of the year. And I'm super thankful to the fans and every member of SATUL who worked really hard over the last few years to help us achieve this. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations to Soul Esports. I'm joined by, uh, I suppose, I mean, a man that needs no introduction, Captain Flowers, a fellow recipient of Play by Play Cast of the Year. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, baby. Let's get it. Uh, mate, a stunning year for you, a crazy world's cast. Uh, how are you feeling? We got to have the first North American World Championship for League of Legends in six years. The first one I ever got to be a part of. The last one was in 2016. I joined in 2017. And it was, in my mind, without a doubt, the best World Final League of Legends has ever had. So um, I'm on cloud nine, man. I'm loving it. Round of applause! I could have been making content right now. I can say that whenever. I mean, I was just going to chill and relax and then edit vlogs, but... Round of applause! <laughs> Like might might just have to be doing a fantastic that. time for a good ass time. Oh, we didn't study for the ACTs, but we study for the GATs. You better believe it. Let's go. Back to show us some gold, boy. Thank you so much. Uh, it's awesome to see oh, you, wait. Captain. Uh, by the way, not just did you contribute to the little championship, I think you had some of the most amazing casts I've ever heard. Uh, so <laughs> you're the best. And it's also great that you're still caring about NA League of yeah. Legends. That's just good on you, bud. Good on it's you. It's tough out here in League of Legends, bud. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? It's time to add some style to the to the proceedings, all right? Because this year is special. Not only because we are, of course, in Vegas, but it's special because we're here in Resorts World and we have some awesome partners who have given us a pretty sick presence. And that's because this year we're actually, uh, we have a great partnership with Oakley. And uh, I actually happen to have this <coughs> awesome pair of sunglasses here that I'm going to try and put on real fast over my sunglasses. Over your Should I take off your glasses? Yeah, do you then, want to? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then, you want to put my glasses on and put your glasses? Yeah, sure, there you go. Oh, your... well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, here's the bad part. Can't read the rest of the prompter over there. Oh, no. So, you know, because uh, I'm you. blind. <laughs> I'll help you. Yeah, I know. I just tried on your glasses. What the hell? Uh, in any case, each and every one of our esteemed winners will not only take home a beautiful esports award trophy, but all of our winners will also be getting um, 
Yeah, we're joining rather. You're so, you're so. You're going to be taking this awesome pair of sunglasses home. You look so funny. You know who else got this? Patrick Mahomes, all right, folks? You know, we got a lot of awesome people who have walked away with these Oakley sunglasses. Give a round of applause for Oakley for supporting this event. Anyways, now, before I lost my words, yes. uh, they will be getting these beautiful Kato Oakley uh, glasses in the gold color way. I was right. taken aback because you look absolutely beautiful in them. So you'll be joining some of the Pat most White. famous people around the world in wearing them. That's right. Like I said before, Patrick Mahomes, one of the recipients of these awesome glasses. And I think it's safe to say that everyone here is going to get a, a pretty cool piece of esports history. Now, if you don't mind, I would really like my glasses back. Oh, stop. <laughs> I can't read. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll trade with you. Yeah. Okay, you're a winner. So there you go. Take, take that. Boom. All all right, now moving on. It's actually a really cool and incredible moment, and of course, a great keepsake. And yeah, it looks way better on her than it does on me. I can way kind better. of see. Thanks, Oakley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and move on because our next award is esports play of the year and this award is mm. a special one because throughout the year each and every month the best plays by the pros uh, that are, are put against each other with the community voting for the play of the month and then in november the winners of each month are then brought together to compete for the coveted play of the year make mm. no mistake there is no button mashing allowed across our <laughs> short list let's meet our presenters for this award the presenters for the Esports Play of the Year Award are Degon and Isaac Zale Cummings Bentley. Levon Dudley? Oh. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. It is awesome to be next to a literal world champion. Why is this? And. Nominee for Color Caster of the Year, you've called a couple plays, you know, before. Tell me, what is better? And, and obviously, I've had plays before. What's yeah. better, making the play or calling the play? Ooh, it's got it's to be making the play, man. It's got to be making the play. You know, that's he's not going to beat that high. That's right. And we've got ourselves all the nominees from the play of the year. Absolutely. And the nominees are? The Esports Wars Play of the Year 2022. Capsule. He's inside the feet, and that's going to be five in a row. Oh, <coughs> see us. I didn't even get to see it. A triple across the map or something? Nice. Oh shoot. Ooh. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Ludo, starting it up! Got the up here. Ooh. Thunder awaken. Getting kited, getting controlled, and the jump board going all in! Oh my god. For the throw, Thunder awaken! Nice. I don't know how League of Legends works though. Mmm. Twists. Oh, my. Yum. Nice. They're like, you know, Twist Alliance. We're gonna steal the Deadliest 2 Z's and just throw it in there. No way! <laughs> no way! That was so clean. That was at like half the freaking map. And in second place, I don't even. None of us were to saw this round. That's best load. Good four. Oh my gosh! That was and insane. Now just the one v one. That is not easy to do. Yeah, it's not good. Forced to pull the trigger. Ooh. <laughs> Have like half their and the winner is. Talk about his impact. There's going to be some time to find out the rat in the hole. Twist Alliance won. No way. 
to the skull. Breaks Nobby's backs in the dying stages of regulation. That was nice, though. That was nice, Michael Mann. Unfortunately, Twist was not able to attend this evening. This is the first time he's been right now. nominated for the Esports Play of the Year and the first time that he has won an Esports Award. Here's a message from Twist. Hey everyone, thank you for choosing my play from IEM Cologne to be the Play of the Year. It was a highlight that stands at the top of my career for me. Uh, it was based around a strat that I made called Canada, and I'm happy that my teammates trusted me to use this play in the 14-14 round uh, deciding map against Navi to win the event. And, uh, yeah, super happy how it turned out. Uh, it felt very nice to, to use it and, and uh, win using it. And uh, I'd like to thank the panel for seeing it as a play of the year, and thank you to the fans for voting for it. No, these are community voted up then. Congratulations again to Twist Skills that pay the bills quite literally. Now, I am legally obliged to say that Golden Boy thinks he could top all three of those plays. I am morally obliged to say the man's deluded. Now it's back to shots <laughs> and the artist formerly known as Golden Boy. Thank you so much. Um, all night we've been given uh, the honor of presenting an incredible array of awards. That's right. That's right. You know, it's been uh, there. There are a lot of awesome and, and, and fun, unique awards that we have here, right? Uh, because you know, I think it's important to highlight every single aspect of esports as well as gaming, uh, and, and bringing that all together here at the esports. Absolutely. And we now move on to a unique award that centers around representation and self-expression in the esports cosplay of the year. Cosplay. The esports awards okay. take pride in ensuring we recognize a broad spectrum of representatives across the industry. Those that create are absolutely a core part of this. That's right. You know, cosplay uh, plays a pivotal role at every land this tournament, cool, every actually. event that we have. I really we like have that choice. cosplayers there who <clears throat> literally bring our favorite characters to life and spend thousands of painstakingly well-crafted hours building these amazing costumes in all of I went to a convention details. once as X like Deadlies, and then that's when I talked to Kurt Angle and all that. Yeah. Uh, to prove <coughs> because cosplay Love conventions, is bro. And Crocs welcomes everyone to come as you are. And like the shoe, you are Crocs? the perfect companion for this award category. The so, slippers? here to present the eSports Cosplay Slides. of the Year presented by Crocs are... Please welcome to the stage the presenters of the eSports Cosplay of the Year Award, Glory Lamoth and Shady G. Phase Shady G and Phase Glory. All right. Awesome. I didn't watch the World Cup. Yeah, <laughs> nice. What she said and Messi's the goat. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all. Right. I'm not the soccer. So I just wanted to say that I'm really thankful uh, for the <laughs> Esports Award team for yeah. having me here. It means a lot to represent my people. And uh, one of the things that I love the most in my life is just cosplay. Yeah, so. absolutely. Um, and the nominees are. The fits are clean, by the way. <clears throat> Esports cosplay of the year presented by Crocs. Time to really analyze this. Little gem. Okay, Let's see if I know some of the cosplayers. Oh, that is really freaking well done. Oh my gosh, this is this is why I love this stuff. Innocence tears. First one's good. Why wow, that is really good. That's really good too. Denpatsu cosplay. The talent is just Sky Daddy. Sweet. That's really good too. The effects is nice. Harpy. There's, there's not a single one I don't like. That's cool too. Peyton cosplay. <clears throat> Romu. Tat <laughs> Watson. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Anna Weber. And then Emery. 
That's really good too. Larissa Rosefort. That's really good. That's a hard choice, honestly. Cause it, it, it takes talent to do all that stuff too. To not just make it, but to the eSport cosplay of the year, presented by Crocs, <laughs> is Kimpatsu Cosplay. Unfortunately, Kimpatsu Cosplay could not be here with us this evening. Oh, that sucks. This is the third time that she's been nominated for the eSports Cosplay of the Year Award and her first win of an eSports award. Here's a message from Kimpatsu Cosplay. Hi guys, it's Taylor from Kimpatsu Cosplay here. I'm all the way in Canada. Unfortunately, I couldn't join you guys in Vegas tonight, but I want to say thank you so much for giving me the award for Cosplayer of the Year. It really, really means so much to me. Uh, this is my 10th year cosplaying, so it's been a pretty long time, um, and it's just overwhelming to have that kind of outpouring of love from the esports community. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Again, I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there with you guys, but I really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me, and I wouldn't be here without the community and without everyone's support. So thank you, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest Deserve. of the awards. Honestly, all of them deserve a award for you. I'm joined Getting by two gentlemen who are nominated for two not. awards tonight. We've got Manny, we've got... Oh, Roger, how you doing, mate? Great, how you doing, brother? You know I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> I have a very serious question for you about cosplay. Have you ever cosplayed? No, I haven't. I'm not going to ask why. I'm just going to ask if you could. <laughs> who would you go as? Probably, actually, we're going to do Seth this year because he's rocking the mustache all year on broadcast, so... I think us and a lot of the guys on the optics side are going to be rocking the stash and support for us. Optic and the uh, scum Matty, what about you, mate? Is that swag? Second round? I guess Seth, too. I mean, if we're all going, <laughs> to, if we're all going to Seth, we got, to, we got to. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Didn't even change the homework. Disgusting. I wish you both the best of luck tonight, guys. Thank you so much, Miles, for uh, doing an amazing job over there. Um, now we've given out a decent amount of awards already. And of course, they're so beautiful. They're more. They look so good, those statues, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they definitely do. Uh, it's a gorgeous trophy that has been handed out uh, to so many of our winners, all of our winners throughout uh, the eSports Awards. And uh, it's actually incredible. Anybody that's there is a the, winner. The crap that goes into making the trophy what it is, the thing that we all hope to get ourselves has been quite the journey for, uh, for the eSports Awards team. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at how it's made. We, as an audience, have always been fascinated by greatness. We look to those who shine brightest in the same way as when we look up at the night sky and see the stars shine. Every person in esports is a competitor at heart. That competitive nature breeds passion. And passion ultimately leads to success. Your grit, determination, and your talent has captured the imagination of millions of people all around the world. This is why we have come together in celebration each year for the past seven years. What I find remarkable is the simultaneous evolution of the eSports Awards alongside this trophy. Before, one was influenced by the other, and now, they share an identity. Winning this trophy is recognition, it's validation for all of the hard work, the hours spent owning your craft, the sacrifices you've had to make along the way to achieve your goals. I can't wait for the moment when the winners raise the trophy above their That's heads. That's awesome. On stage in Las Vegas at the Resorts World Theatre, and their brightness illuminates the world. It's really freaking nice. It looks like a PS5 almost. <laughs> like a scaled PS5. Anyway. It's a beautiful trophy. Um, funny story. Not so funny. My cat almost killed me with one of those because oh, I put <laughs> the one that I won, I put it on uh, my cupboard yeah. where my PC is. And I was cleaning something up and the cat got on top and knocked it over like they do thing fell with the edgy part down 
right next to my head. Oh. Also, I'm not going to get my deposit for my apartment back because it made a huge hole. Uh, this isn't. This wasn't in the script, but it's really heavy. <laughs> it's really well made, and yeah. So great. A stuff. lot of love. A lot yeah, of love. A lot of love. <laughs> Not so much love for the cat, though. I love uh, the cat, but not, <laughs> not in that moment. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to uh, actually a very exciting award. So one of our uh, long-form awards here, because episodic content is truly an art form. And being able to entertain, tell a story, and engage an audience over a series is one of the biggest challenges that creatives go through. Yeah, it has really evolved from vlogs behind the scenes at Lance, although we still have those, but to a lot of fully formed films and biopics. And this award recognizes those across the board who are building content and that brings you back time and time again. Let's meet our presenters. Phase four, Mill. <clears throat> Please welcome to the stage the presenters for the eSports Content Series of the Year Award, Jonathan Reinforced Larson and Esfan. Oh, shoot, Esfan. <laughs> um. Wow. It's a pleasure four, to be here. Phase four, um, man. I'm one of the Award League top members who isn't named Uber Shout, so if you guys didn't know, that's, that's who I am. But, I, I've, I've won a lot of awards in my life, really. Uh, a lot of different accolades. <laughs> Grand Marshal, Scarab Lord, Back-to-Back uh, -to -back Gladiator, Season 3, Season 4, Rep Paladin, one of the top in my class, really. Uh, one of the best players in the world. What are you doing? We're presenting the award. Well, I got you the Gaming Athlete of the Year. You already lost the OTK award. Be stand OTK, people. I'm, I'm no. telling you, put it down. Hold this, all right? Hold this. Uh, we're honored to be here to present uh, Esports Content Series of the Year. Uh, your nominees are... Esports Content Series of the Year. The Story of. The they process. make good videos. Mm. I'm going to subscribe to them right now, actually. V1, The Locker Room. Okay. Cool effects going on. G2 voice comms. <clears throat> Play the one. The Eavesdrop Podcast. This is from, uh... Backstory. This is from Hobby. I can't remember his name. to the international. Players. Yeah, this one. I'm the Paramount Plus one. Damn, bro. Content series of the year winner is Players. Oh, okay. Yeah, what? This is the first nomination for Players for Esports Content Series of the Year and their first Esports Award win. Uh, thanks so much. This is a this is a really big honor, and um, mm -hmm. this show doesn't happen with the uh, without the support of the the fans, without Riot. Um, and I just want to really uh, thank the esports awards, and, and uh, I really genuinely mean this when I say. Oh what, sorry. Are you, cry are you gonna cry? No. It's crying at the esports awards. That's. Uh, no, he's had an incredibly tough year. Um, I just no, I wanted to say very quickly that I, I, was, I said a lot of harsh stuff earlier. And honestly, I mean, honestly, my feelings about the show haven't changed. But um, I did find out that it's going to be free on YouTube and Twitch for the next 30 days. Yeah, this show, it's not great, but it is worth no money. 
So, <laughs> and there's like, no, there's twenty, there's twenty good minutes in it for sure, and you can, and it's probably better on YouTube because you can jump around to the parts where they actually show me looking good, like I do in my normal life. Maybe we can timestamp that. Yeah. We'll do that. Um. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys want to celebrate with me, I'm gonna be at Taco Bell Cantina. I uh, thank you. Yeah, and I met a really cool girl on Raya. She's probably gonna be there. Um. And uh, yeah, Crunchwrap Supreme's on me for everyone. Crunchwraps are good. <clears throat> a glowing review for a show that you actually should watch because it's really funny. Congratulations, players. Guys, we're moving through the night slowly but surely, and I thought I would take full control of the fact that I've got a camera that can go nearly anywhere. Hi, Lauren. Hello, darling. How are you? You're all right? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you, Miles. Okay. I'm not going to pick you up. I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Are you drunk? I'm here. Same. <laughs> I was that we'd all be a little bit more intoxicated by now, but mate, you're up for PvP of the year. Um, well deserved a mad year for you. Any sort of crazy standouts or fun things that have happened throughout the year that you've gone, shit, this is a cool job? Yeah, I guess it's alright. I've got a free bar, it's pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <coughs> That's amazing, mate. Fantastic, though. And um, I wish you the best luck later tonight. And, and at the bar, we're all going to be. Hi, Riv. Hello, darling. How are you? You having a fun night? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm honestly. I'm actually getting a bit tired. I haven't had anything to drink apart from water I could do with a juvie. And at this point, there should be like a Thor's hammer moment where a juvie appears, but we don't have the budget for that. That's all right. Uh, let's keep rolling. We've got a little bit of time to get through, ladies and gents. <clears throat> uh, we, I mean, I think it might be a God Boy problem. I don't know. He's on stage, maybe. But what are you guys doing on the floor? You didn't think I'd come and look at you on the floor, ladies? Well, there's some very esteemed personalities in our seats, and I'm definitely not going to ask them to move Riv or Pansy. I'm very honest of you. Drama. Come on. Let's go. Let's grow. <laughs> Look, I don't know where my seat's gone. Rachel's just throwing my name under the bus. We can go to the bar, we'll work it out. <laughs> Quick rebuttal, let's go to the other side. <coughs> what the? Oh, I said I'd love you. I'd do anything for you. You can sit on the floor of the eSports Awards, babe. That's a problem with eSports. Everyone really likes each other in this industry. It's shit. Right, who else? Who's got beef? <laughs> Who's got beef? Who's got beef? No, you haven't any beef. You're a nice guy. I didn't even know this was going on. Are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, Hector Rodriguez. Hector Rodriguez! Oh, he Hector. Hector from freaking um, 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 Optic. Man. Crazy night. You have a good time in Vegas? You have, a good, you have a good time in Vegas, don't you? So far, so good. What could make it? Tables love me, so yeah. Well, what, what would make <laughs> this night better for you? Uh, Org of the Year, for sure. And some Pine Park. Damn! Is that <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Alright, we we'll just have a little bit of time to get through. Hello, friends. Now, does anyone speak English? Yeah? Really? How are you? How are you guys doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm, again, surprisingly sweaty. Despite the amount of flesh that's on display tonight, <laughs> guys, having fun in Vegas? Absolutely, yeah. Hit the tips as well. Not, not as nicely as X, but pretty good. Having fun in Vegas? Always be English. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Can I try once more? <laughs> having fun in Vegas? Yes. My man! <laughs> Let's get it! Back to <coughs> the <first. clears throat> I don't even know this is happening. I'm glad I'm watching this right now. Can we just give a massive round of applause? Whatever that was. Miles Ross, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. The reason why he's one of the best in the business. Gonna have to watch it back. I know, I know, because he's got some good, solid gold. Now, continuing on the uh, same path, by the way, of creativity, right? Uh, you know, we, we go to the you know esports creative of the year presented by Roland, and we have an all-star cast present this one. But first, let's learn a little more about Roland and how they help creators do what they do. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. What the frick? Is this a full cell ad? That's awesome. Music and gaming. Yo, that's that's what the frick? They got P Diddy in there? What? I saw Snoop Dogg and I think the Amigos is that MGK? What the frick? Yeah, that's awesome. I got instruments. I got three kind of. Actually, I got two. 
I had an electric guitar and a red drum set, but I don't know where the drum set went, and I don't know where my electric guitar went, and then I also had another guitar, and I don't know where that went. Presenting Esports Creative of the Year are James Fontelroy and Gordon Rison. Hi everyone. What a fantastic event. This is some great. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, it is face. a great honor, and I that was I'm Kevin really Nash on the right excited person. to be here as CEO of Roland and also as a gamer. <coughs> it's a great event to be to. Very proud to be uh, presenting the creator of the, of the year. Game. Yeah, yeah. Of the year. Yeah, great. Yeah, We've rehearsed yeah. that for hours. Please. Hello, me? Yeah, I'm James Butler. You're like, who's that? I don't know. I don't know you guys either. But I know that you right there, I love you guys. They were jammed to that beat. I hope I wish I could give you guys the award, but I'm a songwriter, dancer, friend, Pokemon trainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel me? You say epic Pokemon trainer. I got Super Nintendo nails. I'm really into it. You are really cool. And I'm trying to get him into Call of Duty, but it's just not his right. It's kind of hard. It feels too real for me. Actually, you can, if you like Pokemon, you'll like Call of Duty. You miss me with that, he won't get into it. Alright, boom, and the nominees are... This beat kind of... He's for Creative of the Year, presented by Roland. Creative of the Year, the homies X-17. Caroline Parker Star. The homies X-17, next option. This beat kind of reminds me of the track, by the way. I'm going to just slip that up. <coughs> <coughs> that's really cool, actually. Wow, that's really good art. Liquid Enigma. That Team Liquid? That's freaking funny. You what the heck? Well. Graphic designers and just photographers. Not just photographers. All types of that stuff, they're just so good at it. There's such good art that people can come up with. Ella up. Rabbits. If I had the tools, I could I could maybe do something. That's actually really cool. That's cool. Jay Braga. Better watch out for the Fashion and the Furious. Christian Skimmelin. First nomination for Esports Creative of the Year and his first win of an Esports Award. Congratulations. Um, thank you so much for this nomination. Um, thank you to Esports Awards. Thank you to Roland, who is uh, sponsoring this nomination. <coughs> thank you for being and smart. Thank you to everybody that voted for me. And everybody else that's nominated, and that's being there. <coughs> Some awesome stuff. Next up, we now hear from our friends at Logitech, who are quite literally entering the game with their very first ever handheld device. Let's take a look. Logitech. With Logitech G Cloud, I can stream hundreds of next-gen games wait, in my living room. Wait, wait, what? Race through space and bravely save Earth from annihilation in my bedroom. Play pirate in private and rain death on my enemies. Kick back, kick ass, and knock off my competition. She look like Nia Taylor Joy. Fulfill forgotten prophecies, slay some serious beasts, and bask in the vast spoils of my conquests. Huh. That's pretty cool though. That's like the Google Music. Now it's time for our next award and it's 
something with a Z ends with a caster of the year a crucial role of course in each and every on-air talent team they help to cast each and every map adding context stats patterns correlation causation into the build up and make us experience so much our experience so much better damn right they do let's go ahead and make some noise for our presenters <coughs> Presenting the Esports Color Caster of the Year Award are JHB and EEVSU. Ah, <laughs> uh, JHB. Alright. Color Caster. We're both honored to be here at the Esports Awards to present the Esports Color Caster of the Year. Very true. I mean, I work in Smash, so this is as close as I'm ever going to get to this award. So, shout out to the Esports Awards for letting me be here. <laughs> uh, without further ado, here are the nominees. Heck yeah, bro. Smash Bros. Uh, I wish I didn't. Esports, color caster of the year. playing Melee, but I did. Fine. Fun. Oh, these are commentators and stuff? Oh, alright. We're looking at some fun and interesting champions. One pick, two pick! It was just not enough. This LCK's kind of sold back off. Hi, Park! All of them, honestly. I don't think it's going to make any difference whatsoever to help him. Azale! Genji took Baron. I think if Showmaker plays that fight differently, she had the opportunity to try to count up. No one seems unbeatable during Mr. X. Momentum with the overall team <coughs> headed in the right direction. Big game changing performances. Today I thought played pretty well against the shock. Pangu. <laughs> Cross off my bucket list. Super happy. Because today is going to be a long. That was a very one sided match, I would say. Bravo! Final two here, and you have to say these two teams whole season has led up to this point because it's been an incredible performance. And they Chance! I hear people in the crowd. Jenny on the other side is in that same category. For the last person yeah, in this Where it kicked off and lights out your mate. James Bond. What I do know is that double tap looked pretty clean. A wiper death, it seems it like might in be the next video, game. But... They're going to be moving on plane in front of Trent Pax. Enabling all their cores in a way on the side of LGD in this game. They are the one percent. Turns out, yeah, it was booming oh, right in every land. Artosis. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's something silly. He was just wrecking. Cure looks shocked. Gonna be you and me today. Uh, yeah. <coughs> okay. And the winner of the esports color caster of the year is Bravo. Thank you. This marks Bravo's first nomination for Esports Color Caster of the Year and his first win at the Esports Awards. Wow, uh, this is crazy and uh, unexpected. I've been coming to the Esports Awards for uh, many years now. Truly never thought. Uh, that I'd be on the nominee list, let alone on the stage. Uh, first, I gotta thank my uh, co caster, Mark Onset Hatcher. He's the best in the business. And uh, he couldn't be here tonight, but uh, I truly share this award with him. Uh, also, the entire team at CSA for uh, all the support. And uh, the entire ATS team, everyone at 343, work on the Halo Championship Series, and also Esports Engine, the entire Halo team there. Uh, it was an amazing comeback year for Halo, uh, so to be part of it uh, was a privilege. Also, a lot of important people, uh, excuse me, a lot of important people in the room today that paved the way for Halo Esports. Uh, Sundance Di Giovanni is here, Adam Apicella is here, uh, also <coughs> except so, and we have the Ogre Twins, uh, Lifetime Achievement winners who kind of paved the way for, for all this. So, so grateful. Uh, thank you all, and thank you for the Esports Awards. Thanks, everyone. Congratulations, Andy. Bravo. Dudinsky, baby. Uh, another round of applause. Another massive award handed out. Let's go over now to a good friend of mine, Mr. Intero. Both of our uh, color commentary partners have been nominated. Both of us nominated for Playboy Baby. How are you doing, baby? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing... Yeah, get the specs on. I think we might be the two hairiest men in the room with yeah. the most uh, thick rim glasses. But all of us are wearing <laughs> underpants. Oh, Guess which one that is. Mm, prove it. All right. 
eyes up here, camera. Uh, anyway, mate, excited for the night. Obviously, you've been here a few times. You're, you're a vet of this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's, what is it like to see it grow to this size? It's nearly old enough to buy a drink. <laughs> Not in America. It's not 21 yet. No, we're getting there, though. But honestly, man, what? Crazy age to, to drink alcohol. Okay. Insane. Yeah. Should be younger. What do you think about the current state of American politics? No. <laughs> Stop zooming in on me. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> what do you think about the current geopolitical situation in the Middle East? I'd like to keep my job. Me too. Back to shocks and Alex. <clears throat> I'm actually mad that they didn't get closer. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that they weren't just like nestled amongst each other, just like right in each other's face. That's what I'm more frustrated Me about. Too. Uh, by yeah. the way, I'm so happy for Bravo. Yes. Well, congratulations to Bravo. Well earned. He has been at this for such a long time. I used to commentate with him as well. Uh, so it could not that's, be more. That's great. awesome. What the uh, fuck? He still made it. Yeah, uh, yeah, he still made it. Casting with me still somehow managed to succeed. Look at uh, that. You know, but hey, stranger things have indeed happened, right? And. It Oh, what in God's green earth? Oh my God, I watched these commercials as a kid. What is this? This is the greatest moment of my life. Is it? Do you want to oh, take a picture? Oh, dude, can I take a picture with you, man? Oh my God. Oh, oh, he's embracing me very warmly. Oh, so, oh, no. That's not odd. No, that's not. No, you know, dude, come here, take a picture with me. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yes, this is the best thing ever. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. It's a freaking Sasquatch from Jack Link's Jerky. <laughs> that just happened to me. That just happened. That was good. That's oh, <laughs> awesome. Ring about, that okay. Off we go, Sasquatch. Who says esports can't get you anywhere? That's... Yeah. Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's going to steal the car. Nate, Nate shot the car. <laughs> Parked the one right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Get I want to see the Sasquatch, wrap on everybody. the car. Yeah. yeah. That's a thing. That was a thing, that, indeed. I, I got Sasquatch. You did. We happened to live through that. We have not. We acknowledge it. We we got it. You got your photo. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Excellent. Well, guys, uh, you know, I think it's safe to say that uh, this has been an eventful evening. There's plenty more to come. But for those of you guys in the house right now, go ahead, take a, a brief intermission. For those of you at home, when you're not typing cringe, go ahead and get <laughs> yourself some water. Five They're more not. I can't check, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're going back to Miles or if we're going straight to a break. I don't know. Is Miles? Oh, okay. So these are the breaks in between. All right. I'll just I'll just pause in between these. I was not ready for that. Hey man, it's been a great night so far in terms of the main ceremony. But also for those of you that just joined in for the main ceremony, we had awards all night long. We really did. So right now. It's kind of halftime. Basically, everybody but us is hitting the bar, so we're going to kind of break down what's been going on. And honestly, just kind of talk about how we've been chilling watching, because, you know, everybody's doing a lot of hard work, and me, D D Gon just kind of, well, we've been hitting catering, just kind of watching the show, so, I mean, it's been a good show so far. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I got to go up and do uh, eSports Play of the Year, which was a year-long process. Uh, the top three got uh, their accolades, and all of those plays were freaking amazing. Like, I wish all of them could have got it, because it's... It's one of those times where it reminds you why we love this, you know, whether it's the magnitude of the situation, the execution difficulty, uh, all of them had their moments. It was awesome. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of those plays you look at, I always call it the Martian test, right? If you were an alien from Mars and you didn't know what this game was, could you tell if the play was sick? And all of those <laughs> check that box, right? Absolutely. I think it was, uh, again, just across multiple different titles and one of the best parts about the Esports Awards is reminding everyone that although within our industry of esports, each one is its own unique ecosystem, but then bringing it back together under our industry. Yeah, it's and cool technically, like, it, it does work, so too. inundated with the one, or, or two, or three, or four. <laughs> as far as the variety host are concerned, we're besides the point. But most of us focus on one or two games. And so coming here, you know, if you're not into Rocket League, you get a chance to see some of the crazy triple flip resets. If you're not into <laughs> PUBG, you see some of the hot drops, and it all comes together here. And of course, you know, get a chance to celebrate. So I wanted to ask you, right? We've had multiple awards, whether it was on the main ceremony or the pre-show. What were some multiple that stuck out your head? Uh, well, I have a car. Oh, so wow, you're, you're ready to go. Uh, <laughs> no, real, uh, the dome here. Listen, jo jokes aside, uh, you know, Soul Esports was cool, I think, what Mortal's been able to do out there. That's, that's the story. Right, you kind of come from the bottom, you build up a, uh, a, yourself, and then a team. Yeah, he has an entire building. Him and his brother have an entire building 
of people working in esports now off of the back of his success and have created Soul, and it's it's just dummy impressive, man. Yeah, I mean, I remember them back in PUBG Mobile in 2019, I believe it was, for their uh, PMGC like uh, championship. Yeah, 2019. And that squad came in with such high aspirations, and they've now carried that in, not only in just esports, but in content creation as well, and obviously their fans showed up and represented. Yeah, you know, and what a cool scene, PUBG. A shout out to the homies out there, Seven and mm -hmm. Hot Juice and, and Zoo, everybody there. Glitter, yeah. yeah, dude, cool, cool squad. That's your squad over there in the, in the world, but you know, getting a chance to see everybody all across. And real talk, you know, it's funny. We, you know, we do esports and everything. This is my first time meeting HBox, and I've been a fan since. I guess he started. Yeah. Like, it's cool. You're just like. In a way, same. Shit, man. I kind of. You're kind of dope, dude. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, er, congratulations, sir. Right. Yeah. So there's a little bit of that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how close we are together. I guess through Twitch, through YouTube, through all the mediums of content that we're able to consume, including the matches themselves, and then to be able to come here and share those moments and you know fan out a little bit and understand because that's yeah, doing that's it cool. everyone else because yeah, we cool. rarely have the opportunity to come together it's been awesome and you know one of those spots for That's me facts. was earlier in our pre-show we got to give away uh collegiate ambassador of the year and that whole list of nominees all the way up and down from kevin and justin over at Ekaterina, clerky over at maryville and then obviously our winner christina fan uh over uh msi like they are all working together and puffing it out but to be able to go and uh, uh see it firsthand and see how much it meant to christina yeah, you know, see, seeing the stories of people kind of coming from zero to hero is always a lot of fun, and seeing where it starts, collegiate, you know, and, and after, you know, after the camera's cut, you wonder what happens, but well, we just kept talking about how yep. cool that was, <laughs> you know, we were like, oh, you know, I, I think I, you know, I was hosting, and I think I tagged you and somebody else at the camera cut, and like, Gabby was just talking about how awesome collegiate is, and how, you know, I did CRL for like three years, and seeing these kids, I mean, dreams come true, through the world of collegiate esports and stuff, so. So I gotta ask you then, you, you got to meet Xbox and obviously he had his win, it was massive, you know, uh, a great human being. Who else do you wanna meet? If you get to pick one right now, you know, we got our whole audience in, uh, out here, who is someone that you are super excited to reach out to at some point woof, later today? Woof, right? that's... Because they'll get to meet the F dot, been doing it here for <laughs> years now. Actually, <laughs> yes, it is two, so that's plural. Uh, we're here for it. Um, years. <laughs> I, that's a tough one. Uh, you know, I've been lucky enough to be really surrounded by people that have really supported me. I kind of like, I don't know, I feel, sometimes I feel like I cheated. I kind of like have a lot of friends here and kind of started and bam, here I am. You know, Golden Boy was one of the first people I ever worked with in esports. Sure. So, I mean, who am I, who am I excited to meet? I guess kind of everybody that I don't already know. Is that a, is that a cheesy answer? That's a little cheesy answer, but I think that hits. Well, I like the Jenna. See, then I'm going to go opposite I actually here. prefer Monterey Jack, but it's all good. Really? You're, I'm a Pepper Jack kind of guy. Facts. Right. right. Well, a little bit of spice the there. Spice, there. right? Yeah, but make sure that the cheese is in there, right? So you still got to bring it a little spicy. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and think about a lot of the people that I haven't seen in a while because, you know, yeah. we're so busy. So when I right. think of it, I think yeah. of, like, so uh, you know, a lot of my uh, LCS friends and league friends that have been out here for a while. I think about, uh, you know, uh, esports makeup with Rosa. You know, she's freaking amazing and out here uh, a lot of our friends over in the PUBG community and PUBG mobile community I have the collegiate friends it's been amazing all the way up and down brother absolutely absolutely you, you, you know you know what you know who I want to meet who anybody that's a big wow nerd uh, I shout out to Warcraft. They're probably not here, man. <laughs> <laughs> right now. To, well, exactly. But I mean, it's cool. That, Dash and I are boys. We work together, and I didn't know he was like into it, into it. And then all of a sudden, we're like three hours deep in a conversation about like, you know, whether you should go vent the or move boom kid or Kirin, and like, oh. Word, here we are, we're good friends, you know what I mean? Yeah, that so I, I, heard. I know there's like some turbo nerds out there that haven't haven't let us know, so that's who I want to meet. I want to meet the big nerds. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to <laughs> ask you again, we've hit on it multiple times, like covering Resorts World, covering Las Vegas, but what has been your best memory here in Vegas since this is the first time that we've had these sports awards here? You're getting another cheese answer, because Dennis, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's this right now, man. This I mean, guy, this I guy. mean, being on, well, not this specific moment. I love sharing the stage with you. Thanks. But, like, doing the whole thing, being here in Resorts World, the whole big show, that's that's really the biggest thing. There have been cool food and cool bars and cool moments <laughs> and cool activations, as we say. But, like, it's just the cool people and actually putting on a cool show. So Absolutely. I think, for me, 
it was a nice mixture of it. Uh, it was golf and gaming club. Shout out to the GGC boys, Gene Hung. Thank you for teaching me golf a couple years ago. Uh, <laughs> because coming together, see the organization grow, and everyone's been so welcoming and loving. And it didn't matter, you know, from the top to the bottom, if you're new, whatever your handicap is. Coming together, and we played over at Bears Best. It rained and poured. Ooh. It was windy and cold, but everyone had the same conversation of, "Are we going to stop? Or are we going to go ahead and work through this?" And Almost everyone worked through it, and as much as it hurt, it was great to come together in, you know, and, and uh, you know, share the competition, but still share those memories. Well, I mean, like I said before, I mean, we're, we're, we're gamers. Do you stop when it gets tough? No, dude. You have to keep pushing. If you fail at that plus 16, do it again so you get that plus 18, right? Like, that's what you've got to look for. It's the opposite of that's what you fine. want in golf, I know, but... It's a wild thing, don't worry about it. Also, just thinking about it, how about Misha Brooks, everyone, over from Players, he presented the award so earlier, cool. they won Players, or they won uh, Concert Series of the Year, uh, and Players itself getting such a great dichotomy of what the professional scene is with the, the sense of funny that always comes from uh, Dan and Tony's work. Absolutely, well, for now we're going to take a brief break, Deacon and I will be back after the flip, we'll see you there. All right, main ceremony, okay. Um, all right. Alexis, again. You know, it's a lot of fun, you know, just, you know, this, that's what, what, Golden Boy said something really funny the other day. What did he say? Well, he says everything's funny. Yes. But uh, <laughs> he, he said on the desk, he was like, welcome back, it's just me, another fleshy meat bag that tosses the catch to commercial. And I, uh, I feel that sometimes, man, I feel that. You know, we've got to get in and out, and I don't think people know how hard this job can be sometimes. It's very hard. But <laughs> we like to do it. So, if, you know, we're going to be a flush of meat bag that goes in and out, I'm done. Yeah, I mean, I'm vibing. I'm just hanging out here, you know, especially when you're surrounded by such greatness. We've talked through some of the awards that we've taken a look at today. And now let's jump into game. Esports is the game of the year. Valerie goes ahead and takes it and runs with it. And, you know, when we talk about, like, the tax shooter, listen. It's, it's, it's a standard. It's been around for a long time. We've seen Counter-Strike, we've seen Rainbow Six, and Valorant just kind of shaking up the scene by coming out with something new, new aesthetic, a new feel, you know? Yeah, very much uh, the aesthetic, the feel, the brand, and I think it's great because it's the first time in a while where I'm like, wow, everyone wants to get in and play regardless of skill level before. A lot of the time, you get in a game where you, it's helpful if you played something else before. Right. Whereas Valorant's beginner tools, I think, have been fantastic to allow new players to come in, and this is their first time playing an FPS yep. or specifically attack shooter, and it's it's been awesome for them and see the growth. Yeah, I mean, the onboard experience of, of Valorant is, is really, really, I'm, I'm like going into like, yeah. you know, industry terms here. Getting in. But it, it's just dummy fun. It was really easy to just kind of like sit down and like play with people who might be intimidated from other aspects of shooters and stuff, and then just kind of like jump on in and just have fun. And when we talk about competitive games, sometimes it's not so fun to be the best, right? They, they say that good players will sacrifice fun for excellence. Gotta but, work hard. I mean... Why not both? Yeah, I, I, I wish that was the case, but I think the more and more that we dive into it, it's it's definitely a, a, a sacrifice, right? You gotta sacrifice to be the best, which is why moments like this where we're able to celebrate what was given by all the players, yes, the winners, but also the nominees, and just to be acknowledged on that journey, I think is very helpful throughout. And I really want to oppose that, because a lot of time we get younger players come on in, younger adults, human beings coming on in, and they don't, recognize that where they're at in the journey sure and so something like this says hey take a second recognize where you're at how far you've come and you know how proud the whole community is of you that's what we're doing we're just kind of celebrating the entire community and one of the last one one of the last awards that we kind of saw before we jumped on stage was color commentator of the year now we kind of joked about like our jobs up here yep. but i know you take your job just as serious as i do and like Man, I have so much respect for all of the all of the commentators out there. It is a skill. It is. Listen, I, it, nobody likes yeah. to say my job is hard. Woe is me. I'm gonna eat some worms. But it's tough. It's tough. It is. And when you see somebody nail it, it's so impressive. Absolutely. I mean, color commentator. You're an educator. You're a teacher. But you've got to find ways to be entertaining. And when you went up and down that list uh, of nominees, you know, Sponge being on there, obviously Betty being on there, Azale being on there, and all the way up and down, all of them fantastic at their craft. And again, the multiple different ecosystems and how unique they are. And they're the expert of that, but universally entertaining throughout. It is 
quite the skill that I, I, I wish I had. <laughs> and uh, you, you know, do, I love working with you him. Do. I love He's working. Man. But no, and it, like color commentary, like you said, it, it's it's math, it's details, it's it's the minutia, it's the facts that you might not know. And how do you dish that out while also being entertaining and stuff and maintaining yourself? You know, what Sponge does is different than what Brav does is different than what I do is different than what Jeff does. But all excellent and all a different flavor and stuff. You know, Brav is able to take it home. Congratulations this year. Yep. But I said it before, roll your eyes if you want. But if you're nominated, you won. Yep. And that's really what it comes down to. Your excellence has been noticed. And that's pretty sick. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm hoping that as we continue on with the awards and we have some stacked, stacked nominees throughout, all of them remember, like, what a journey to be here, what a journey to get nominated, and they are uh, the cream of the crop, and we all are so proud of them. Is there any particular award that you're excited the most for? Like, I get excited about desk, color, and play-by-play. -play. Where do you kind of get really eager out? Yeah, definitely host, right? To see our, you know, our profession and the best do it. I love learning from them, watching them, see how they give back, how what they do in their off time, how they throw tosses. It is so fun to see sometimes how much uh, growth they have, and then how much they've evolved. Like these are careers that have been going oh, yeah. for such a long time, and kind of reinventing themselves, whether it's a new game or a new style, new format. It is so fun to watch them continue to work. You ever go back and watch your old pods? Yeah. Like five plus years? It, more than five, yeah. It hurts. <laughs> it's, you know, it, I have to remind myself where we're at on the journey, yeah, too. You, know, you sit there and you're like, you said basically 37 times in two minutes. Like, what is wrong? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You pick and roll and you learn, and obviously, but take a look at where you come from is fun. What What was your crush word back then? Everyone, for, for those of you at home, when you get caught up and you're trying to say something, some people are like, uh, 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 uh. What was your crush word? Because usually as casters and hosts, there's one word that we get stuck on. You know what yours At was? the end of the day, it really comes down to what's going on. And at the end of the day, is that the end of the day? Be able to bring it back. And at the end of the day, that's every single spike that I <laughs> My buddy Bart had a uh, clicker. Yeah. And I would just walk on stage and be like, 27. Oh my gosh. And you know what? That number went down and down and down. Because that's one of the cool things about coming here and celebrating with your homies is that you can help yourself improve, but your homies help yourself improve. Your teammates help yourself improve. And it, when you reach that moment where you put your ego in your back pocket and you're able to take feedback really, really positively, that's where you really kind of break that mold and your friends can kind of like we we used to watch we used to watch back the pod and roast each yeah. other yeah. and that's where i learned the most honestly having taco just be like dude what were you thinking when you said that i'm like nothing at all <laughs> the community help is very important but at the end of the day you're the one that made those changes there big guy way to go that's, that's true give yourself the credit that's absolutely true you know but it comes well community oh help we love you, fans, but I don't learn from Reddit. <laughs> I, I, meant, I meant your homies. Oh, yeah. It's all the community. Thanks, Reddit. Thanks, Reddit. We did it. Absolutely. But, yeah, no, looking back to where you where where you started and kind of where'd you come from and where, where, where did you go? All right, I walked into that one. My bad. Yeah, so with that one, I'll go ahead and finish this one out. Thanks, We're dude. looking backwards and now the achievements. <laughs> now I wanted to ask you about the Lifetime Achievement Award that you got to host the civil award ceremonies that you got to host like when you think about all those names obviously you don't have to single one out but what was the unifying tie that you had there for me it's celebrating the you know everybody kind of has their 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 spawn point so to speak yeah for me it was celebrating the counter-strike guys you know i've been I, I, Jason Lake in complexity and, and and looking at you know the counter-strike folks that were able to win there heating up there those are the guys i was in the fifth grade playing 1.6 yeah. you know and like seeing, the, finally, give people their flowers while they're around. And that's what we're doing here. We celebrate those that have paved the way to let us dorks kind of stand up here and yell about it. And now we're celebrating the people that are doing it today. And tomorrow, somebody will be celebrating those folks that come after us. You got a dork there. You? <laughs> Oh man, well the audience is starting to fill back in after the intermission. This is very exciting as again, we've got a whole second half to go here. Lots of surprises coming up. Absolutely. Well that does it for me and Digon. Thank you so much for hanging out and enjoy the rest of the Esport 22 presented by Lexus. See ya.
they'll do that. This thing smells so good. And now, our wait. musical guest, pay me no money. Oh, shoot. I'm going to get copyrighted for this. But I'll let you know how it is after. Demon. I forgot about the whole 30 minute assessment plan. A lot of things that were said are awesome. Sight tempo. And I agree with them. But I completely forgot to <laughs> hit record. Kohan. But this is the next thing going on. Mohammed Light. <laughs> oh. Lost. Long lost brother. Like lift off. Order. And onset. God cruise. <laughs> His name is just Jonathan. All right, that's cool though. And the winner of the esports mobile player of the year, presented by Verizon, is Order. Unfortunately, Order cannot be in attendance with us this evening. This is his first nomination for Esports Mobile Player of the Year and his first Esports Award win. Here's a message from Order. What game did you play? Was it a race? Oh, okay, so some, most of the time when they're not there, they're, they're training or preparing. That's what I was guessing. That Congratulations, just training for the I realize this is a very precarious position. Sat. Sat. We're in a kilt, but I'm sat next to a true legend, man, Hitch. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing great. I'm uh, I Optic was pretty kitch? drunk like 30 minutes ago, so now I'm uh, you know trying to sober up a little bit. But you sitting here in a kilt is uh, making me feel spicy. So <laughs> you might not have seen my knees before. <laughs> oh, I have. Whoa! All right. So let's talk about you and not my uh, massive white knees. Um, mate, you've had a really <laughs> cool year. Like you've done a lot of charity work. You and the Tuesday guys. It's been a really amazing thing. Not only to sort of be a part of, but to watch. Can you explain some of that and educate those who may not be in the know? Uh, yeah, no, it's a day-to-day -day process with, with Optic, uh, hanging out with the Optic guys and, and uh, doing a bunch of content there. Uh, you know, doing content with my three, uh, with my two best friends from home, and then also, yeah, got to got to do some charity work this year, throwback games, some Super Smash Bros. Melee, and uh, some Call of yeah. Duty. Yeah, yeah, it was... It's Call of Duty and Melee. It's been so nice to see you guys, like, you know, spin these communities together and, like, enforce this, this love and enjoyment across you know, the entire scene. So, thank you, mate. Thank you on behalf of myself and a lot of folks for such a wonderful thing. Yeah. That was, applause! I thought that was Bella Fortune. Anyway, anyway, sorry, guys. That was rude. Uh, let's throw it back to, uh, to the lovely shocks and the mildly talented Alex. <laughs> oh, I get it now. He's always been doing that. We just haven't heard it until now. I'm coming for you, Miles. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they turned off your mic as they should, damn it. Anyway. One left look kind of like Ellie Goulding just a little reset. bit. Now, everyone's path to the eSports Awards is obviously different here, but none more so than our Tyson competition winners who won big and forged their own path to the eSports Awards. And all year, Tyson Foods has been running a competition giving those aspiring competitive gamers a chance to be here in the audience with us tonight. Let's take a look at their journey to the eSports Awards 2022. 
Nice and shaky. One of the oldest boot companies in the entire world sponsoring oh, yeah. esports. The it's first so ever they good too. Apex Legends Team Tyson. Congratulations, Paradigm. Tyson oh, wow. State Fair Paradigm. You'll be having a real good time representing this brand. Is that Tyson, Halo? Tyson, Red Ditto. Congratulations, uh, um, guilty on the game, hey, Welcome to Elevated. It's a show about boosting discoverability for new creators. And Nika, congrats. congratulations. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations, team. <laughs> Hey, That's awesome. Congratulations. It's also the ultimate boost. So you get a sponsorship with Tyson Foods. Yo, that's sub drop that is awesome. Worth of gifted subs. We're going to speak at Tyson's table at the Esports Awards. You get a and membership prize. to the Tyson Influencer Collective. That's okay, awesome. Honestly, What's my experience up? with Elevated was so monumental in my streaming career. And uh, I'm really excited for the future. It's, things have gone only uphill since Elevated. It truly did elevate me. It's been really, really uh, amazing and just super life-changing. It definitely has gotten me to a different level than I was before the event. It's been incredible. That feeling that people do like what I do, all the new viewers that came across my art, just as a confidence thing, which I think I'm going to keep do with art me for too? the rest of my life. That's true. Tyson has helped my That's cool. Gaming and streaming just by being able to provide the sponsorship through Elevated. I didn't expect them to get involved in gaming, and I really appreciate that of them. Tyson, a brand that has a lot to offer, is willing to offer me a partnership. It's been awesome. It's a dream sponsorship for me. It's one of those things That's that cool doesn't chair. come around too often, and being able to work with Tyson is just a dream come true. Tyson's support, just the fact that they have my back, they're supporting gamers, artists, streamers, actors kind of support is just amazing. Being able to announce to my stream that I'm going to get an all-expense paid trip to Vegas and then get them hyped for the potential of going with me through the sweet states has been something that's, that's you know, really kind of brought energy to the stream uh, that I can get people excited for. That's cool. Amazing. Uh, now we are into our six last awards of the evening. Ooh. We're yeah. getting on, uh, but this next one is indeed a huge one. The eSports Team of the Year, presented by Secret Lab, has been hotly contested for many, many years and always has amazing narratives from huge underdogs overcoming every odds to North American World Champion winning their final title of the season. Um, yeah, Team of the Year. It's That's freaking cool. Now, as I mentioned, champions were yeah. actually joined That's on nice. stage by the chair of champions. Ooh, that's right, folks, because this limited edition and very sexy Secret Labs X Esports Awards Edition uh, showcases the relentless pursuit of the best. So much went into making this chair and, and, and uh, providing gamers with a place to be nice and comfortable as they put the time in so that they... I've been just hearing other copy and paste channels saying this to him. But I just want to say, when I started saying that s stuff gaming related was sexy and putting featuring in my title of videos, you can look at my 100 subscribers, Georgie the Bear video for the f one of the first videos that have featuring like music and something that's more gamer related. And it's another thing that I don't get credit for, but other people have been using and then it gets millions of views and it's just... It's something I've been doing since 2016, 25th, 2016, and it's, I never got credited for it, but I'm not, it's, it's whatever, honestly, I mean, if everybody's, you know, doing their own thing and being happy, it's not making me trip at all, I'm not, not tripping about anything, it's just, uh, you know, it's just when I made something, you know, a while ago, I don't know, and then the touch grass thing, I feel like I started doing that too. Sports Awards! That one, I don't I'm Captain know. Flowers, play-by-play -play commentator for the LCS. I am joined by the multi-talented play-by-play -play commentator, interviewer, and even occasional desk host of the LCS, La Tigress herself. What an introduction. Oh my goodness, two play-by-plays in the same place. I just have to say thank you so much, while still tall, for not being as tall <laughs> It's like our buddy is Dale in the audience. I don't have to stand on a <laughs> box for once. This is great. One time I did stand on the box after I cast it after you, and I was almost as tall as Dale was. Oh. But, you know, we have good times as commentators. We have good times as personalities. But it's all about the teams, the players that come together to give us the moments, the players and the rosters that create these incredible scenarios, these incredible performances, and the absolutely unforgettable memories 
that can create the entire scene of esports that we're all here celebrating tonight. Well said, Flowers. Well said. So without further ado, here are your nominees for Esports Team of the Year presented by Secret Lab. Esports Team of the Year presented oh, yep. by Secret Lab. I already know which one's going to be on this one. Face Clan. Face Clan. Oh my freaking gosh. Twist Alliance. Loud. Phase Twist Alliance. Clan. LA Thieves. Is that uh, Hunter Thieves team? I think it is. Yeah. If if it isn't, team BDS. either way, yeah. Uh, I like their I like their like logo and stuff. It's kind of cool. Okay, if Optic's not on here, I'm gonna. Nova Esports. What? Hold on. Nova Force Clan? Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. That's kind of cool. That has been said. Los Angeles Gladiators. Ooh. PSG LGD. Okay. That's kind of a cool name. T1. The one. But there's more than one peoples. That's cool. Dallas Fuel. They call themselves Fuel. That's kind of a cool name. That's a cool name right there. Yeah, that's where it's at right there. That's my vote. That's my vote right there. Optic's been one of the most unstoppable esports teams that's ever existed. Ever. Ever. To me. And the winner of esports team of the year that is Optic is... Gaming. I already I already do. I already do it. Wow! From Valorant! Okay, oh from Valorant? Okay. I'm down for that. This is Lounge's first go. nomination this for the Esports right Team of the Year Award and their first win I think they on were the LA Sports Award. or something. Wow, heck yeah, bro. But Valorant? It's a little bit refreshing to not be a Call of Duty team. Even if it wasn't Call of Duty still. I mean, I don't know. Oh, That's wow. The... I don't know what to say. Uh... I'll start by saying I'm not the greatest feature ever, so <laughs> So thank you to everyone here who started. What well, started in the basement has snowballed into the thriving industry. And thanks to all of your folks here who has shown crazy love for games. I want to thank our massive team, our partners, and the massive all to our fans who have waited since 2019. And as we promised to be presenting our time out. See you guys next year and thank you so much. This one smells so good. Congratulations, loud! I am now joined by Sean Spaceman Rogers. Uh. Big Spaceman fans of the crowd. Mate, uh, you are a sort of, you're, you're across various games commentator, you've got a lot of love for Call of Duty, obviously Rocket League. What is it like being a kind of multifaceted talent in the industry? You're all over the place. Yeah, it's nice. Here, I'll take the, take this, enjoy that. Yeah, no problem. Um, it's, it's, Definitely an interesting experience. Uh, it's great to sit in front of my little childhood god and icon made shot, so it's it's really nice to be in that presence of someone who's pioneered the industry. And, uh, you know, I, it's not often you sit next to a, a grown hairy man in a kilt, so <laughs> that's what I can get, because this has been a, a good end to the year right here. And what a year it's been. Uh, but Sean, you're a younger man in the scene, right? You're only, what, 21, 25? What's it like being a younger bloke in the scene? Because I'm nearly 35. I'm getting on. It's, you know, it's a little, it's a little weird, but um, it's nice to be surrounded by people who have literally built the industry from the old group twins to fatality to literally Nate Shot, so, um, and you as well, you know, so. Yeah, uh, that's Nate facts. Nate, Nate Shot's been there for a long, long time. Good. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a great experience, and, uh, you know, you yourself are doing a phenom phenomenal job tonight. Also, make sure to check out uh, Juby. You should have him on your beds when you came to the awards. Uh, it's, it's only like five calories too, which is a big deal right now. So check it out. Low sugar as well, which is great for you keto fans. Um, and uh, buy 100 Thieves merch because I know how to plug ads. So go check that out as well. 
Hey, okay, save the whole time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Miles, you're doing great. I love the kill. Uh, your beard's always phenomenal as well. Thank you, Sean. Round of applause for Sean Rogers, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't ask him to do that. I, I don't know that guy. And he ran with it. And that's kind of like what this thing. show is. We're having a lot of fun, though, now, though. To end that fun, it's Alex Mendes. <laughs> you got some juvie. I could, I could really use from it. Uh, and I'm not even front. It's yeah, actually, I'm just gonna say real fast. All right, it's actually not a sponsor thing. I, I drank some and I actually pretty good. So, uh, talk to you, Nate. Well done, buddy. Yeah, we totally believe you. Um, we are into our final five <laughs> awards, and there are some really interesting ones coming up. The first of the five is Esports Personality of the Year, presented by Coca-Cola. Just before we oh, get into cool. it, Coca-Cola has been celebrating a very special collaboration all week, right here at Resorts World Las Vegas. Yep, that's right, and that is their limited edition League of Legends Wild Rift pants. They've actually been lighting up Resorts World all week long on the LED all over the building, and of course, you know, there are five limited edition cans to collect featuring some of your favorite champions. Uh, but actually, let's go ahead and take a look at their feature for a little bit more information. There's something about games. What you're doing there gives you real chills. I thought it was a listen violet for a second. That's cool though. There is one thing that can't be caught. League of Legends, Coca-Cola. Felix. If you can feel it, that's it awesome. must be real, right? That's that's real magic. Awesome. We got some as well, actually. Some yes. Snuck into my room last night when I was uh, not cat freaking at all. Um, and I came back and we had the pants. So yeah. Thank you, Coca Cola. Uh, I'm just gonna say this. She's gonna be very embarrassed. It was by far my wife's favorite yeah. thing because she's a huge Coca-Cola fan. So thank you Coca-Cola for that one. Uh, but let's actually go ahead and welcome Michelle to my wife. Uh, let's go ahead and welcome um, our presenters to the stage. Your presenters for the Esports Personality of the Year Award are Jason Rollins and James Dash Patterson. Awards. How are we doing tonight? All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know we could give us some, some better energy than that. Yeah, come on. Trust us. Show some personality. Let's go. There it is. All right, there it is. Front row's been popping off all night. You love to see it. All right, huh? let's be real about uh, uh, this award. These two guys look official. I ain't going to reality of personality of the year is that every single one of these individuals has uh, such reach. Uh, and such influence uh, within the community that they really need no introduction. If you don't know who they are, you're probably living under a rock. And yet, nonetheless, we will introduce them. Yeah, so without further ado, uh, on behalf of Coca-Cola, we want to present the finalists who have been bringing real magic to viewers and players all across the globe. Esports Personality of the Year. Simple. Come on, I love you! I just want to throw you a game of games. I guess I've seen you. Sounds familiar. Shocks. Hi guys, that was my first vlog from the world. Oh, that's, that's that one. Ocelot. It's important to believe you're the number one while believing you could be so much better. We're kicking ass and I'm very happy about it. Gowlays! Yeah. Mortal! Hello everyone! Finally! Chuaklo de Osgilia! Come on, Pato, that's the best ultra tayari. Faker! Nate Shot. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I don't even know where to start. We're up to all. Golden Boy. We do this thing. This event is going to be one for the ages. That's the thing. You know, we'll make it work. Hats. 
Oh shoot, Hex. That's his name. That's his freaking name. That's one of my one of my favorite uh, members from uh, Optic. Besides pretty much any other member. <laughs> oh my gosh, critical. How is something like that even possible? Get out No bro. Critical is most likely there. There it is, there it is. I feel it right down the front row. The winner for esports personality of the year, presented by Coca Cola, is Nate Shot. Oh, shoot. That's when I miss. This marks Nation's fifth nomination for esports personality. Yeah. Of the year. Sixth nomination overall and second esports nice award winner. Heck yeah, man. Nate Shot's always been a legend in the esports community. He's been he's been there for so long. If anything, oh, he's been wow. one of the first right. ones. We didn't expect this one. Uh, be on stage right now with I mean we have simple. Dang it. That motherfucker's a goat. <laughs> we got Hector up there. The entire class. I appreciate this more than you guys might even know. Uh, I want to give a big Dang. shout out though to LA Thieves. Uh, Loud had a fantastic year. They absolutely deserve the award. But I wanted to talk about LA Thieves for a second because we said it after we won the world championship. Those guys and everybody in this room, most people understand, but a lot don't, how much pressure these players have on their backs. You're not earning a ton of money. There's not a ton of consistency in the lifespan of your career. And then you have organizations like ours, but we have to put a lot of pressure on them to win. And every single player on that team for LA Thieves, their job was up in the air for that entire year. They ended up winning the New York Major, and then they won a world championship. And I don't think anybody will ever understand the position those guys were in, and the coaches, the entire team. I want to say thank you to the entire organization, 100 Thieves. Uh, we got some employees here at the stands. To be honest with you, I don't think this should have been my year, for real. But I haven't, I mean, I've been in the mix with these sports. We got the part teams, they've been fantastic, but the organization as a whole has been probably one of the most rewarding experiences of my entire life. And every single year, we're trying to do more, we're trying to invest, we're trying to do better. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that helped us every single day to achieve this dream. All of our creators, all of our partners, our board, our investors. And then last but not least, I want to give a shout out to my beautiful wife. Wife, not fiance, wife. Haley Hank. Yeah. Hey, if you work in esports, you will never understand how much I'd love to complain. And how much we all probably bitch about this industry. And Haley has to take the brunt of it every single day. And that woman is insane. John Robinson is proud too. That man is basically my therapist. So I appreciate everybody. Thank you guys so much. Go try Juvie. I promise you, you might like it. Zero, five calories, zero sugar. We got three different flavors. Please, dear God, just go try some Juvie. Thank you guys. Congratulations, Nate. I am uh, now joined by uh, another man who's part of the Edible side of esports. I'm here with AJ and he's doing the control. Mate, what is going on in the control world? Uh, it's going great. Um, super happy to be a part of the esports awards. Now two weeks in a row. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw the little photo booth activation that was out there. Uh, that was a good little moment there, but I mean, we're, do we're doing great at control. I'm trying to myself, the gamers, the industry, and you know, the mistakes, you know, we love the gold bars, and these things that gamers can do. to eat. None of us want to get up and go anywhere. We want to enjoy some dinner. Just for us. Is that where you all came in? Yeah, I mean, there was a space. I mean, the company was founded by two guys that have lived in for a long time, Skyler Johnson and Sun Nancy Giovanni. Um, and they, they found a, a gap in the marketplace that was pretty much the case. Instead of ordering DoorDash, Uber Eats, instead of skipping your meals, like let's, let's, let's fill, you know, gamers, content creators, you know, just and the whole digital space with something that gives up the new chips that they need. We love that. How's Vegas going? Uh, it's going great. Yeah. A little down on the table, but yeah. we're, we're going to change that tonight. Yeah, we're going to change that tonight. Oh, what's the game of choice? Uh, I learned Baccarat and Crafts this weekend, so that's what I'm sticking to. 
There was a little backward love in the crowd, dude. I rolled like 25 times in a row that time. Still lost the prime. That is brutal. Uh, to bring any weapons to Vegas, happens in Vegas. I mean, it's good that you're having a good time. Thank you so much for the love of control. Take care, man. Holy shit, back to you, friends. I'm gonna get up now. Real slow, real slow. And I'm gonna now throw it over to our beautiful host, Shocks and Golden Boy. Thank you. Um, have you done any gambling? Uh, I did. Dang it. Uh, played some uh, craps. Uh, I am absolute dog water at that. Say so your crap. Uh, I'm crap at crap. <laughs> It's not that funny. It really isn't. Uh, to, to me, that's like the funniest joke I've heard all day. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, and, and a little black track. What about you? Uh, no, not at all. I actually went to Vegas like five times and I've never like gambled at all. Oh, well, we Maybe all know what we tonight. gotta do tonight. Um, also, what I really like is there's been so many shout outs to SOs, you know, partners, and it's really important because we're all on the road a lot, we work a lot, and they, uh, yeah, we couldn't do it without them. Yeah. Frank, if you're watching, I know you're asleep, but shout out to you. Aw, you see, look at that. Of course, uh, folks, it's been quite the day here uh, so far at the Esports Board, and, you know, the action's going to continue on. Uh -huh. I believe, I was told, that we're going to be going to a quick commercial break in mind, right? So we're going to do that. We're just going to go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to have plenty more awards to give out, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So will I. Why? Why is that on my screen? I just love how you know all them people are having a good time, you know, doing doing what they love doing, and just no one complaining, no one having a bad time or anything. You know, it's it's all good, good vibes too, and just you know, it's all chill. No one being whack, no one on some BS, no one starting anything. It's just straight up. Just straight up all good. And it's it's an award show, it's an it's a lot of people's there and it's just a lot of it's good and honestly that's that's the type of stuff that I wish I went to because that's the type of stuff that I love uh, and love going to and it's just it's an all around good time. Um, and no one stealing anything from anybody. It's just straight up a good time for everybody and it's it's really good. So, yeah. Alright. Only thing we ever do. Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never get to actually, like, work a video game event together no. because Lord knows that the world would explode if that, that happened. That would be fun. Uh, um, but it's great. It's great to be alongside you once again. Josh. It is. It's fantastic uh, to be alongside you, GP. And we have a couple more awards to go. Namely, right now, the Esports Controller Player of the Year. That's right. And, you know, I, I, look, here's the thing. Every year, Okay, our writers, they, they write these jokes, all right? They write these jokes about being with two sticks or, you know, they, they, they mention about auto-aim or, you know, skill-based matchmaking or whatever the case may be. But you know what? I'm here to put a stop to it right now, all right? Because I came from Controller Esports, and that means that it is awesome. I am awesome. And that's not my ego I'm talking. It is pure fan base. But the point is, though, all right, is that... Basically, when it comes down to, you know, what it means to be, you know, the, the eSports controller player of the year, it's a long legacy of incredible players that have, you know, managed to really, I guess, like, turn the tides of, of eSports history. Players like Ogre 2 or Ogre 1, Walshy, dare I mention his name, you know, people, uh, you know, like, like... <sighs> I, I, I can really just go on and on. Explosive from Gears of War, Skunk from Call of Duty, some incredible folks. And I think it's important to just highlight just how incredible these players are, Jax. I think so too, and that's why we have our next award as such uh, the Controller Player of the Year. Here are our presenters. The presenters for the Esports Controller Player of the Year Award are Lauren Glitter Explosion Laraquente and Andy Bravo Dudinsky. <clears throat> landscape we get to watch the best controller players in the world duke it out for championships across games like smash rocket league call of duty apex halo and more the nominees for oh esports controller player though. of the year are
Esports Controller Player of the Year. Jen Burt. Emot. Celium Monkey Moon <clears throat> Formal MK Leo Psycho <coughs> Kenny uh. And the winner of the Esports Controller Player of the Year is Formal. Unfortunately, Formal cannot be here in attendance this evening. This is his second nomination for Esports Controller Player of the Year, when it was called 20 in 2017 the Esports Console Player of the Year, and his second win overall. His hitch is going to accept the award on his behalf. Alright, uh, obviously, I'm not Formal. Uh, Matt couldn't be here, he's too busy being the best player to ever fucking pick up a controller, so... Um, but if he was here, I'm sure he would uh, thank Optic, he would thank the Green Wall, he would thank his teammates and his coach, uh, he would thank HCS, and uh, he would thank all of you guys. So, I'll, I'll, I'll get this to you soon, Matt. Thank you guys. Oh, hello friends. We're back. Uh, we have an idea. I think we're going to be talking to. Is Derek Wilson from the Truman Factor around here anyway? Is Derek Wilson at his front stage? Derek Wilson's the front stage. I think he might be busy. I've got the next best thing. Actually, that's not true. You're the man. Wait, oh, oh, no. Here we go. What's up, Milton? How are we doing, baby? I'm doing absolutely brilliant. I want to compliment you on a killer fit. Not a lot of people are going to notice the bow tie, nails, and the shoes. Thank you, man. Get on the feet. Who said that? He's right. Get up, brother. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Jesus, son. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk me through they it. They are pretty clean. Uh, we have Christian Louis Vuitton uh, on, the, on the feet, Stefan Origi on the bow tie, and, uh, you know, just uh, generally speaking, I'm just really proud of the entire squad. I'm happy and blessed to be here. It's a beautiful night, and thanks to these sports awards. All right, mate. Right, this is, of course, the formal for uh, walking over the duck there, brother. What are you drinking? What's going on? I only drink tequila soda, but I mean, obviously, shout out for more. That's my G, and you know, you rightfully deserve it. You put this in all the work. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. While well, you take your seat, enjoy yourself. I have Mr. Derek Wilson now. He's ready on stage. I'll be running across there to talk something very important about him. Come here, sir. I see I don't mind running. I'm quite aerodynamic in this. Don't laugh. It's true. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fantastic. Welcome. Hello. How are you? So, uh, let's get right to business, shall we? Uh, what a fantastic day, first and foremost. Uh, so all night we have been raising money, we've been raising funds uh, for a very, very good course, LLS. Uh, they're doing incredible work, and despite Jake's Jake lucky that possibly he may have already shaved his head. Jake? Yeah, the hair's there. Still present. We thank you all again for everyone who's donated so far. Um, I'm still here with the Wilson of the True Factory, yeah. and you're about to unveil some news. Uh, I'm going to sit back, relax. Yes. I'm going to go backstage, eat some of your lovely treats, yes. and let you know what's going on. Okay. Do I take this? Do I read right here or do I just talk? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, I'm Derek, and Truman Factory is uh, founded by Truman Wilson, and uh, he's only 17. He's a, a he's a gamer, a entrepreneur, and he'd be here, but he has finals this week. He can't be here. 
high school. Um, but part of his mission when he started the brand 12, when he was 12 was like he always wanted to get back to his age group in, uh, in donations to, to uh, kids in needs. So he's, uh, he's been doing this for the last six years in his brand. So L LLS is like a major, um, for him, like, it totally makes sense. So tonight we wanted to basically cut Jake's hair. That's the mission. So we're going to give $25,000 from Truman Factory to cut Jake's hair. Let's do it. Jake, are you ready? He doesn't look ready. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. This is happening. Jake, using only your hands, describe how you're feeling right now. All right, cut it! Oh my God, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Hold on, Jake. Find a happy place. You've done an amazing thing and an incredible amount of money raised for a fantastic cause. <laughs> With the little scissors. <laughs> Stop trying to cut it. Cut it! Alright, can we get a bit like a hedge trimmer? Or a battle axe? Jesus! Is that a butter knife you're doing that with? Yes! What a wonderful cause, and RIP to that bit of Jake's hair, but an amazing thing to do. Mate, thank you so much for that, and geez, that took a bit long, didn't it? I need a break. It's over shots and Golden Boy. Well, that could have gone really bad. So it did it. It did it. And uh, hopefully uh, Jake's not in too much pain there. But uh, obviously something great for an incredible cause. So yeah, congratulations. So all night we've been uh, raising funds for a very good cause indeed. LLS they do some incredible work. And of course it inspired Jake to pledge to cut his hair if he can hit the threshold, which we did. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and as we move on now, um, we are back in the run of the award category. That's right. That's right. Uh, because we actually, you know, we are so excited uh, to have a few folks that are going to be coming here to kind of represent this. And I don't know if we actually are ready to go, but I think we might be. So, you know what? Uh, look, we actually have one of the baddest people on the planet here that is going to be introducing this next one. And of course, Polari. Oh, actually, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Was just told that instead we actually have a little bit of a video. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at that before I move on from the awards. People think that I'm really intense, but it couldn't oh, be farther from. <laughs> What the f great shadow legends? Put me in the game. <laughs> Miss Rousey. <laughs> we already have hundreds of champions, so. Put me in the game. We, we should definitely do that. Access granted. Now, you will need a weapon. Oh, hello. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Oh no. Ah! Oh shoot. You got that right. Download Raid Shadow Legends and get the legendary Ronda Rousey champion for free. That's cool. Honestly guys, I just wanted to talk about Raid Shadow Legends. That's right. You haven't made it in esports and gaming until you talk about Raid Shadow Legends on the broadcast. Uh, jokes aside, though, folks, we want a, a big thank you to Polarian for making that happen. We definitely appreciate it. Yes, and now we will head over to our esports PC Player of the Year Award. Here are your presenters. Please welcome to the stage the presenters for the esports PC Player of the Year Award, Timothy Ash Evans and Zach TTG. Oh, another Zach? Another homie Zach? Alright, alright. Well, Zach, here we are presenting uh, the PC Player of the Year on behalf of Raid Shadow Legends. And it feels really good, and memes aside, uh, the reason that we are here and not somebody from Plarium, a developer in Raid Shadow Legends, is because they're actually in a war zone right now in Ukraine. 
and I would love if everybody here could take a moment and appreciate the moment that we have celebrating all these amazing individuals up for awards like these today and the safety of here in this amazing place in this amazing venue in Las Vegas and give a round of applause in support of the individuals in Ukraine. Thank you guys. And the nominees for the PC player of the year are Esports PC Player of the Year, presented by Raid Shadow Legends. Maru. Cyber. Is Watson. Oh shoot, his Watson? No way. I didn't even know he... I didn't know he played competitively, what? Without the and. Thank you. Simple. Yeah, simple. Cause I've, I've heard him from somewhere. I don't remember where though. Maybe Wait. from just commentation or Super Smash Bros. or something. Oh yeah, face twist the lines kind. Optic, oh shoot. Seco. Come on, he sees one shot. Hit this real quick. <laughs> Ooh, that's fire. Can we stop it? And the winner of eSports PC Player of the Year is Simple. Unfortunately, Simple cannot be in attendance with us tonight. This is his fourth nomination for eSports PC Player of the Year, his sixth nomination overall, and his third eSports award win. Here's a message from Simple. Hi guys, feels like I won again and again, and I want just to thank you for all the support. I want to thank everyone who worked for me. Thank a lot of stuff here for me, my family, my family, my organization, my team. Uh, and I hopefully the next year will be better. And I just want to say thanks everyone who supports our country. Well, we pray. Thank you everyone who watching it right now, who is in Las Vegas. I wish I will be in Las Vegas for once uh, on this nomination. But yeah, we are going to play another tournament. Howdy. Congratulations, Simple Trinity, the greatest to ever do it. I am joined by another two of the greatest to ever do it, the Ogre Twins, uh, Tom and Dan Ryan. Heck yeah. yeah. No, this is crazy. I'm geeking out a little bit. Gentlemen, I don't think you're geeking. How are you doing tonight? Uh, it's pretty crazy. Cool to be here. Uh, wild to see how far it has all come. Yeah. It really has come a long way. I mean, Dan, you've come a long way. You've come away from Australia to be here, quite physically. But did you ever imagine esports would go from like you know the, the MLG national circuit to something like this? To, you know, what the hell is it going to look like in five years? I never expected it to be like this, and it's just amazing to see everyone here tonight. It's very cool, dude. Well, you guys inspired me um, to quite literally pick up a controller and commit as much time and energy as I possibly could to playing the game. Never got to your levels. What would you say to anyone sort of trying to do it these days? What advice would you give? It takes a lot of hours, I'll tell you that. Uh, streaming's big. I would say uh, if you can stream, so if you stream, I always tell, tell it to players that I'm, I'm currently recruiting for, you know, I manage the CEL team, so 
always telling players, you know, show up the stream if you can, people want to watch, and uh, if you got something special, people will see it. I'd say if you want to go for it, now is the best time ever. Um, it's never been bigger than this before, so give it a shot. Give it a shot. The Ogres told you to do it, so do it. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm throw a gold one shot. Wow, well, look at that. A uh, couple goats give it some advice. Dang it, bro. Go just so close to advanced so, uh, You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, for now, though, we're going to take a deeper dive into the incredible Logitech G Cloud and how it adds even more levels to your gaming experience. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Thank you so much once again to Logitech and of course Super Cool to see Future Gaming happening right now. Now with all of these incredible handhelds, it begs the question, uh, basically what constitutes, you know, like a, a mobile game in 2022. You can basically play games anywhere you want. Of course, I'll let the panel go ahead and deliberate that on uh, January's Hall. Should be pretty exciting. But regardless, though, now it is time for our penultimate award of the evening. It is the streamer of the year. It is one of the most competitive and coveted uh, categories presented here at the Esports Awards. Yeah, it awesome. recognizes the biggest streamers in entertaining who are entertaining the masses week in and week out. But it's a very important part in creating and recognizing legacy. As production quality improves the entertainment, uh, improves uh, the stream, the budget, it all goes up. And going back to the first year of the awards, in fact, 2016, 5,000 concurrent viewers was uh, the, the maximum, which was, was a huge success. Now it's so completely different. Of course, Ebay, who won the award, has reigned supreme once again yep. this year, and we wonder who will challenge his crown for 2022. The streamer of the year, presented by Lexus, is being handed out tonight by... And announcing the presenters for the streamer of the year award, oh, Bryson DeChambeau and Mike Ashford. I must be the least talented person they've allowed up on the stage time. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be okay with that. Well, and by them, I mean myself, right? Yep. Um, thank you all for coming tonight. It means a lot to us. We're super excited to have you all with us. Huge thank you to Lexus for obviously making this all possible. Bringing these incredible cars, putting the night together. And Come on. What, where is the clap? Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we are. Finally. So we're ext extremely excited to be up here tonight. It's an honor for me to present with this man. And I think it's always really exciting to see that gaming has led us to this point where we're taking over a stage this big. And I'm going to present an award tonight with Price and DeChambeau. Yeah, it's an honor to be here, guys. Thank you for having me in Sports uh, Awards. Couldn't be more stoked to be here. Never thought that gaming and doing Elder Scrolls growing up and being a fan of that and watching Switch and been playing Fortnite, Call of Duty would bring me to this point. Um, but I, I really appreciate it. I can't thank everybody enough. And then May Shot, my man. I'm contractually obliged to have this right here, by the way. <laughs> my man. He's actually <laughs> the one that brought me in. We had a golf tournament a couple days ago. Fuck for it. Um, we played last year again. <clears throat> won. Uh, this year, lost by one. But made a 90 foot on the last hole, right? That was fun. And uh, technically, I didn't kills. win either, so I'm as good as this man. <laughs> this time That's only. right. This time only. Cheers to that. <laughs> but now, uh, we have uh, the honor. Are presenting tonight the esports stream of the year Screenshots presented for episode by Lexus. 78. So, without further ado, the finalists are the finalists. Let's level up the FSS Hurricane in one game. Streamer of the Year Lexus. presented by Lexus. I think I'm gonna keep that on my class. To be honest. If I... I'm just really good with it. <laughs> no, I'm behind my 13! 
Oh shoot. Yeah, as we go to Damn. Just like vanilla wax. What? What? Yes! I knew Tarek. Tarek. Oh shoot, we play Bella. Oh my gosh, Tyler what? It's special, it's unique. No! <laughs> Tim the Tatman. <laughs> Even Tim the Tatman, there's so many know. good dudes. None of you know. <laughs> Doctor Disrespect. Yup. Yup. These guys are nothing in the game. Oh, you know you're going against the best sniper in the game. Cutie Cinderella. Okay, I've heard of this one. Oh, she's a baker. Oh, okay. She's a baker. I didn't know what she did. Nick Merks. Nick Merks, yeah. I just had to do that. And the winner is the eSports Streamer of the Year, presented by Lexus, is Evine. Unfortunately, Evine cannot be in attendance with us this evening. This is his third time being nominated for the award, and the third straight time he has won that award. Here's a message from Evine. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Ibai. Espero que vaya todo bien por allí. La verdad que estoy muy agradecido por haber recibido este premio. Es el tercero de manera consecutiva. Tengo los dos ahí al fondo y la verdad que no puedo estar más orgulloso, creo que soy la primera persona que, que lo consigue en la historia de los eSports Awards, así que muchísimas gracias a todo el público y a toda la gente que, que me ha votado y que hace de la comunidad hispanohablante una de las más oh, grandes Spanish. del mundo, si no la más grande del mundo Hola, muchas gracias por, por confiar en mí y también gracias a los eSports Awards por, por haberme nominado, un abrazo a todos y que vaya muy bien Congratulations, Dubai, again. Uh, incredible streamer of the year, and we're so nearly close to finish. Now, right, Andy, bravo, right, you won! Well, I do. I'll tell you what, I watched that list of nominees in the color list. By the way, just shout out to all of them. And after I watched that video, I keep you not, I was like, well... Orange Cassidy? Combined with Macklemore? Category, but I think they made a mistake. I ran off the stage with the award, and now it's mine. It's in my lap. That's all about it works, mate. Congratulations. And you've been around for a long time in the sports scene. Um, console, Halo... Talking to the ogres, I've seen where this has gone and where it's going. How do you, how would you sort of describe this entire experience? Oh, I don't know. Uh, really lucky, right? I mean, like, just so damn lucky. Because as the ogre said, we were showing up to tournaments. You did whatever you could just to get a hotel room so that you were at the venue. No one even knew what the prize money was because it was so low that it didn't even matter. Right? You could barely afford the next flight to the next city. So I think we see that grow into knew what the prize money was because it was so low that it didn't even matter, right? You could barely afford the next flight to the next city. So I think to see that grow into Oh my gosh. It was so low that it didn't even matter, right? You could barely afford the next flight. Prize money was because it was so low that. Um. Hold on. Well, it just stopped out of nowhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and stream. That was a really good event to be a part of. That was awesome. Um, I don't think it's going to be playing I think enough. So. I think. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, five hours, pretty much a million views with thousands of people watching. Uh, for sure, some that is to be a part of, and uh, that was that was really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this. Um, and I don't, I don't want to address uh, a word I said on stream um, when I was back here doing a video um, for my own reason. Um, that that word, don't take it out of context. Um, I'm gonna just let people, if people want to overreact to it, 
over a word, then that's cool. Um, but yeah, I just want to say that right quick because I'm not addressing it in the future because I got too much stuff to do. Um, so yeah.